All right, we're back. You know, I do everything on the fly. This is the intense part of the show where uh, I just run down here and multitask and do this, go to store. And, you know, I keep on doing this. I know some people, it's sick. They're like, that's sick. And some, to other people, it's like, wow. You know, you got to give the guy credit. You know, at least he's loyal, you know. But I just, I mean, they're here on the way. I'd come down and I would get these things anyway because I feed the animals. I feed the birds and everything. It just so happens that one day I drove down that way and, and seen them in the dumpster. And I said, I can't have that, you know. And because things have changed so dramatically in the last uh, four years, I mean, for one example, our taxes are double. But anyway, I mean, you can't complain about it. Well, you can, but no one listens anyway, so why complain? You just end up being a nuisance. Right, I'm heated. Yay, I'm yet. I'm so heated, Twinkles. Yay, take a deep breath. Okay. Anyway, one thing that I am going to uh, remember because as friends, you know, it used to be, we, as friends, we used to be able to, to talk amongst ourselves about things and to not care what other people think. But since nowadays we're more in tune with how others uh, think and we're afraid of hurting people's feelings. Um, well, we can't have none of that. We can't have the things that we used to have, you know. We can't have honesty anymore because we're always afraid of the truth and what it's going to do to people. But my friend always said to me and my other friend, he's like, Obama sucks. And I'm like, yeah, baby. Right on, you know, because that's the truth. You know, that's the truth. And, you know, I have my reasons for that. Like I said, you know, you drop 2,000 pieces of the puzzle on the ground, you can put them back together. You know, I'd rather, I rather, you know, go out of this world saying everything that I really want to say, speaking the truth. And that's the kind of thing I remember about my friend, you know, always told you like it was, just came right out, and it wasn't meant to be harmful or anything, it was just the truth, you know, when we grew up, our friends told the truth to everyone, you know, if you had a shirt on that looked stupid, they would tell you, or whatever. They tell you if you had the right drum set or the right guitar or, the, or whatever. That is just so much taken away from today. You know, it's just this showboating. And uh, where does that get us? In silence. All right, I said what I had to say there. And like I said, uh, when I came on, I was uh, all set to do Butter 20. And I uh, just, I said, this is not the time to do it. You know, it's not the time. You know, out of respect, why would I, you know? I mean, growing up Italian and all that, I mean, if, if during, you know, something like that happened, and, and you know, you just don't, you just, you're not, it's not a, a time to be doing that kind of stuff. It's a time for remembrance. And, and I did really actually, um, I, I, totally honest, I, I really cried. It's, it's not easy for, you know, for, for men to admit that, but it's because of the whole thing behind it, the whole story. You know, a fighter. You know, a, a true fighter. And a true good gentleman all around. And we're pulling up here at my house and his friend lived right here, Gary, the guitar player. And I remember one night, we uh, we jammed out in the yard. You know, I jammed with Richie and Gary and all that. They all remember it. And we looked up to him. We looked up to him. You know, I'm 
honored you know, to have uh, met them all. But it is Monday, and we're dealing with all we're dealing with. And uh, I will definitely remember this, you know, the spirit. And to give us a second here, there's a bar right down there where uh, they played Abbey Road. That was the first time I seen them. I walked in and I was like, wow. <laughs> 